So we have 16 is 50% of what number? Okay. So one way of solving this is to turn this English sentence into an equation. Yeah. So, so turning the English sentence into a math equation, we can go 16 is becomes equals, is becomes equals. 50%, we can turn that into a decimal. That's 50 per 100. Per cent means per 100. Or as a decimal, that's 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. Okay, so so we can write 50% as a decimal, 0 0.5. Of in math means multiply. Of means multiply, and what number we can put any letter there? X, A, B, C, N, let's do N for fun, right? So 16 equals 0 0.5 times some number, right? 0.5 times some number, right? So what we've got to do is solve this equation. We've turned the English sentence into an equation. Now we've got to solve it. We've got 0 0.5 times n. What's, how do you undo multiplying by 0 0.5? Good. Divide both sides by 0 0.5. Divide both sides by 0 0.5. Good deal. So now you've got 16 over 0 0.5 equals, and these 0 0.5s actually cross cancel, you see. And they give 1, so that's 1 times n over 1, that's just n, right? Now you've got to figure out 16 over 0 0.5. I'm going to do it over here and we'll take our time. 16 over 0 0.5. We can't divide by decimals in math. We need to turn the denominator into a whole number. So what would I multiply 0 0.5 by in order to turn it into a whole number? Yes. Yeah. Good. Exactly. Multiplied by 10. 0 0.5 times 10 gives what? Yeah. 5. Good. Yeah. 5. Good. And, um, and at, you've got to multiply top by 10 as well, right? All right, so um, um, so top by ten we get one hundred and sixty. So it's five. It's one hundred and sixty over five, right? Five into five goes once. Five into sixteen, three times, right? Remainder one. Right. Five into ten goes twice. Thirty-two. So 16 over 0 0.5 is 32, right? right. Right. Yeah. So just checking this, 16 is 50% of 32. We can go, okay, 16 is 50%, 0 0.5 of times 32. And so you can go 32 times 0 0.5. If I was getting 50% of 32, I'd go 0 0.5 times 32. 5 twos is 10, carry 1, 5 threes is 15, and 1 is 16. And there's one decimal place in the, in the multiplication, so there must be 1 in the answer. And so that would be 16.0 or 16. Right? So 16 equals 16, that works out, right? Good. Good.